Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to run our model, uh, do initial set setting ups and how to read the results. Uh, so while we have entered all the data required for running the model, we will just set up certain uh, infiltration methods and the time steps and our model should be ready to run. For that what you have to go do is go to this options under the titles, you will see general and just click on the editor button here and you'll see the table opening like this so now uh, when we entered the data we had selected uh, so the data provided to you for infiltration is for modified green imp methods i'll click on modified green imp method uh, with respect to the data which we've entered you'll already see that the process models are rainfall runoff and flow routing uh, we don't see soil melt and groundwater and water quality because we have not added the data there uh, secondly, what we see is a uh, routing model which can be steady flow, kinematic or dynamic flow. Uh, in short, kinematic flow means uh, the pressure forces are not considered by calculating the velocities and the flow in pipes. Uh, to know more in detail, I will recommend you read the SWM manual. The next is dates. Uh, so here, uh, for the 6 hours of the time series data which we have entered, the model sh would show to you that the model run is for the six hours uh, because we would want to see what happens beyond the rainfall uh, time uh, to the runoff we'll add uh, we'll change this date to 831 and the hours to 24 or 00, zero. so i just want to see this up to the next day and let this remain uh, as it is this is sweeping time is more with respect to the water quality so what happens when sweeping residues get into the water so we are not concerned here uh, next is time step so this is uh, when do you want your data to be reported so this is every 15 minutes uh, during dry weather this doesn't matter to us because uh, we do not have a dry weather and we are not running it for a long term and for uh, wet weather it says 5 minute I can change this to 1 hour because my rainfall data is 1 hour otherwise I can keep these defaults also uh, as it is we don't need to add anything with dynamic wave because we are using a kinematic wave so we'll still still, still we are able to see what are uh, the different parameters which are required and what are the files so we don't need to change anything else uh, but just click OK when you do that, uh, if you had initially hotten and then uh, you have changed it to modi uh, modified rename, it will give you a, a warning and what I'll do is I'll just press OK and what we can do is go back and check in the Excel editor what are the values and if they have changed, we'll just simply edit those values. So yes, the values seem to have changed here and what I'll do is I'll just add my values again so these are again copy pasted from the table which is given to you and just add the data again what I need to do is save and close and again uh, what I can do is to check back I can again check whether my all data is again uh, as what we want, it, want there so the data is set up quite uh, nicely there and uh, we go back to our model now our model seems to be ready for running so what i'll do is i'll click on this button which is run a simulation so once you do that your simulation is run uh, now to look at the results we can go to the report uh, look at the summary so this shows what is happening in different catchment areas what kind of runoff uh, is generated in each of these uh, catchments uh, similarly what are the load depths what are the outfall uh, loadings or what is the total volume of water coming out of the outfall so similarly there are number of reports which I would recommend all of you through go to go through the next up is we can also make certain graphs so I'll just quickly make a graph uh, which first I'll try with profile so what happens is uh, profile uh, needs a start node and an end node so I'll start with J1 I'll click on J1 left click and just add using this button here and similarly the outfall and add a button to add it as an end node next up I need to find the path so this is an automatic path considering conduit 1 2 4 and 9 so this is what 1 2 3 4 and 9 sorry so this is what my path looks like and I can save if I want I will not save it right now but let's click OK and see what happens so you see that you know you can see the pipeline 
the diameter that as per the diameter uh, which you have entered. So this is what my uh, profile looks like. To view what is happening during different time uh, uh, to this profile, what you can do is click on the map here and you will see an animator here. Now what I can do is I can set this up to the end and just play animator and it will show you what happens to our network during different time periods and you see now the water storm water starts coming in one of the observations which you can make is you know both the pipelines having the same diameter but because of more slope in this line uh, as per manning it has uh, more capacity of flow and therefore it is less uh, flooded in that sense and this is more flooded so this is water during different times and so this is your profile so one is a profile which is an important indicator of what is happening whether your network is overflowing the other thing what you can look at is a graph so let me look plot a time series graph so because the node was selected it automatically shows me whether uh, the node depth but i do not want a graph of node depth rather i want node total inflow which tells me what is happening uh, what is the total amount of water flowing through this node at different points in time and I'll click accept and I can click OK so this tells me it gives me the profile of uh, what is the total flow in cubic meter per second at different time from this outfall uh, I can also add rainfall data to this so let me just quickly add rainfall data so instead of just one graph what I can do is uh, let me delete this add uh, for the system I want precipitation and click accept okay so I do not have oh sorry I have not selected uh, so select a system precipitation and accept then add output and I total inflow and click accept and you will see a graph like this so because both of them are blue colored let me change the color of this so what you can do is right click on the outside and you will see the legend or uh, graph options popping up and what I can do is go to styles uh, select my mm per hour and I'll probably a cream this color and I can click ok and now I can see what is the rainfall during different period and what is the flow because the units are inconsistent you see a different kind of a graph here so that is one and uh, you can also try with uh, different you know uh, other graphs if you would want to plot tables if you want to see by variables what is happening let's say to the total flow total inflow so I can just quickly see what is happening to the total inflow uh, to copy paste what you can do is simply click uh, oh, sorry oops I lost that report so what you can do is yeah so let's say you had a total inflow you can simply copy paste from here and copy to clipboard and let's say I have an excel let me open an excel and show you what the data looks like so you can simply copy paste your entire data wherever you want so this is sorry I did not select the entire table so what I have to go is click on this and press a copy to clipboard and now I can paste my entire data yeah so this is my data what is happening to the uh, outfall at different durations and what is the total flow as per my model so because this is every 15 minute calculation you see the reporting at every 15 minute uh, so next up in the next video we'll learn about calibrating this model thank you